Hi, this is a quick video from GoTo's to make your job just a little bit easier as an SC or an AD. So we know you're using GoTo's because it's secure, private, ad-free, and you can reach parents by mobile, text, or email with just one click. We also know as a site coordinator, you've got a lot to do. You have to send announcements, weekly updates, reminders, daily posts about special curriculum highlights, share photos, and a whole lot more. In this video, I'll show you how to do all of that easily with GoTo's so that every site parent gets all the information very quickly. You'll learn how to make timeline posts, use the site library, photo albums, and a whole lot more. So let's get to it. In the next minute or so, you'll learn how to make a post that looks just like this, including important information and attachments, as well as colorful photos. First, click the Groups icon. Then, select the group for your site. When the timeline loads, click this arrow to start a post. Then go ahead and type your update. If you want to add a little flavor to the post, Click the emoji button and select something fun. If need be, an AD can mark this as an urgent post, sending it to parents' phones. Now, it's time to add some attachments. Click the paperclip icon. Let's get a photo from one of the group albums, maybe from last year's soccer tournament. Click the paperclip again, and this time let's add something from the group library, like the registration form. Finally, let's include something from the computer, like a photo. When you're done, click the share button. And now, the post is on the site timeline, including the registration form and the photos that you wanted the parents to see. Now that you know how to make a site post, I'll show you how to draw attention to a key post down in the timeline. This can be really useful if you want to make sure that certain content isn't buried further down. Take a look at this scrolling banner. This is actually a clickable link that will take you directly to a specific post no matter where it is in the timeline. Remember, timeline posts flow in order of the most recent, so this is a great way to pull up an important post that might have moved way down the timeline. Here's how you do it. First, scroll down to find the post that you want, and then click these three dots here. Then, click here to pin it as a banner. Just a quick note, announcement posts can't be made into a pinned banner, so if you don't see this option here, that's why. Now, provide some text that will catch the eye. A good practice is to include click here as part of the text. And that's it, you're done. The site also has a repository for photos that can be organized into albums. Uploading pictures is really easy and your AD will have already created the albums that you need. Let me show you how to use them. Click to see all the albums your AD has created for the site. Find the one that's most suitable for your photo and click it. Then click add and browse for a photo on your computer to upload. You'll see the photo is now in the album. Click the thumbnail to see it. If you want to share a timeline post about an album photo, click here. And that's it. Now you've added a photo to an album. The site has a library for sharing documents, web links, and other important items. As an SC, you'll need to add things to it and maybe even direct someone's attention to it in a post. Let me show you how to do that. Click the Library tab, and you'll see a list of all the items currently there. Uploading a document or saving a web link is pretty easy. Clicking the item will show you details about it, and it also lets you link to it in a post. So, click Add to Library, and provide a name for the item and a bit of information about it, and then provide any tags you might want. Click the paperclip icon to browse for a file on your computer to upload, and then click Share to save it to the library. You can create a timeline post about a library item, which is a great way to call attention to it. At this point, you've learned how to do a few things that'll make your job easier as an SC. You can go ahead and stop watching the video here. 
If, however, you're an AD, please keep watching because I'm gonna show you a few more things that are specific to your job. If it's not already visible, use the navigation arrows to scroll to the Events tab and click it. Click here to create a new event. Give the event a name and description. You can provide location information here. If your site has more than one calendar, click here to make sure you have the correct one selected. Now set the day and time for the event, and if you don't want to be informed for every single RSVP, click here to turn it off. And save it. Finally, provide a little information about the event for the timeline post. And that's it. The event is now in the site calendar and everybody has been informed with the timeline post. Well, hopefully this video has been really helpful to you. We've shown you a few things that are quick and easy that will make your job faster and simpler. Thanks for taking the time to watch it. 